great Halloween parties begin at Walgreens. Candy, party decorations, masks, costumes, makeup. Everything you need for Halloween fun, now at Walgreens. Ever hear of a gift certificate that turns into a soft drink? Oh, it can happen this Halloween. When you give out McDonald's Halloween gift certificates, kids take them to McDonald's and, and they get a McDonald's soft drink. A book of 20 Halloween gift certificates costs only a dollar. And can turn into 20 regular soft drinks. It must be the magic of Halloween. Nobody can do it McDonald's can. N nobody. I'm Freddy Krueger, and you're invited to my special get-together. But beware, you may never leave. Dial this number now. I've got some grisly details for you. And if you're one of my lucky callers selected at random, you'll talk to me live while you're awake and safe. So dial this number now if you dare. Talk to me live. Freddy Krueger is waiting just for you. Two dollars for the first minute, 35 cents each additional minute. <laughs> Halloween Toys R Us doesn't miss a trick, and the prices are a treat. We've got costumes for all Toys R Us kids, even grown-ups, and loads of candy, makeup, masks, and more. Toys R Us will make your Halloween supernatural. <laughs> John Blackstar, astronaut. Is swept through a black hole into an ancient alien universe. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Blackstar is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. In turn, he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. who rules by the might of the Power Star. The Power Star is split into the Power Sword and the Star Sword. And so, with Star Sword in hand, Black Star, together with his allies, sets out to save the planet Sagar. This is his destiny. I am John Black Star. And so, with Black Star and Mara, this Trabic delegation has come to your city of Gondar to seek your help against the forces of the Overlord. Why should we make trouble for ourselves? The Overlord has never bothered Gondar. But, Dal, it's only a matter of time before we feel the Overlord's hand. I think we should join the rebellion. I need time to think on this. Such a chicken toad. What is it? <gasps> Looks like a little gift from the Overlord, Prince Dal. Marakan, the city of zombies. Let's get out of here!
my hand. Luina and the city. Gone. And Mara and Gossamer. And Poodle. We gotta shave them. We've gotta get up there first. Leave that to me. Whoa! Get me and my big mouse. My spell is fading. We'll have to jump for it. Looks like we'll have to climb the rest of the way. It figures. Who rules in Marakan, Balkar? I've only heard legends. They speak of Shaldemar, the ancient, who drains the life force from people and makes them zombie slaves of the Overlord. <laughs> then we'll find this Shaldemar. Mara, the Enchantress, and a pair of trumpets. The Overlord will be most pleased when I bring you to him as zombie slaves. What do you mean? Who are you? I am Shaldemar. I shall drain your life forces personally. Not if I can help it. Thank you, my dear. That was most tasty. It leaves me hungry for more. If I can't stop you, then Black Star will. No one can touch me as long as I have the Sphere of Souls. And into the Sphere, your souls will go. <laughs> No more of you will escape. We'll never find them in this maze. We won't stop looking until we do, Dell. Shh. 
too late. Look! <laughs> what are they? Well, they're not the welcome wagon. You are our prisoners. Keep your distance, buddy. Okay, you asked for it. What? Something. I am. I'm yelling. Yay! Whoa! Come on, Dal. Let's go. can't fight a city full of zombies! Yuck! Maybe we can't fight them, but we can fool them. Okay, guys, let's give it a go. Try to think, zombie. Well, I didn't know zombies could think. I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie. Ooh. I'm a zombie. It's Louina. Lowena! Lowena! No, Del, she's a zombie. They are not zombies. Stop them. It's Mara. She has Gashima. I will stop them. All of you, get back. I'll handle Mara. I can't keep this up long. Mara's magic packs a wallop. You shall not get away that easily, Rebel. Black Star. She just doesn't give up. Blackstar doesn't seem to be doing too well. And neither are we. Save the Sagar tree! What? Mara Can is heading right for it! It's gonna run down our tree! Bruckstar, I know of a spell that might just protect the Sagar. Good! Gossamer, fly Balkar back to the Sagar tree. Hey! What about me? You have to help Dal and me stop this Shaldemar character before it's too late. Oh boy!
Good luck, my friends! You're the lucky ones. You're getting out of here. Well, how do we stop Shaldemar if we can't even find him? Get back! Come, zombies. Shaldemar beckons us. Looks like this group will lead us right to him. Let's move! Is it going to work, ball car? It has to work! Here comes clone! I've got it! The fire bat feather! Good work, clone! Yes, the fire bat wasn't too pleased about it, but... Here goes! This potion must be poured into the underground river that feeds the roots of Sagar. Ah! We haven't much time! It's getting closer! I'll take the door on the right. Dal, you and Riff take the one on the left. I'd rather take the next boat out of here. Whatever's down this corridor, it couldn't possibly be worse. Now to pour the potion into the river. These hallways are trouble. I think I'll take a little shortcut. Surrender, Black Star, to the Sphere of Souls. Reach the Sagar tree. Marakand. If only we're not too late.
No! Black Star, you will pay for this with your soul! No! The sphere of souls! The life forces! They're escaping! Is it really you? Well, Dal, Lawina, we all wish you luck in ruling Marakand. Our first official job will be to change its name. To the new city of Gondar. And as for the people here in Gondar, you can count on us to help you fight the Overlord. Thanks, Dal. You won't regret it. Oh, no! Not again! I don't think we'll have any problem with this dummy. <laughs> This morning, Billy looked like any other boy, but as the moon rose, he turned into a werewolf. He used new Pa's Halloween makeup kits. His friends did too. Look, Mike's a vampire. Amy's a ghost. Pa's makeup is safer than masks. It never blocks vision and it's hypoallergenic too. So watch your kids turn into the creatures they really are with new Pa's Halloween makeup kits. Tales of horror that will give you the creeps. This is going to be extremely painful, Mr. Verrill. Oh. <laughs> the most fun you'll ever have being scared. Creep Show, rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. <laughs> Quaker granola dips, a hauntingly wholesome Halloween treat. Chewy granola dipped in real milk chocolate. The perfect treat for your little monsters. <laughs> Burger Chef, it's Wolf Burger the Werewolf. Where can I get delicious burgers? Where can I get fun, fun food? Where, oh where? At, at Burger, Burger Chef. Chef. Where? And now at participating Burger Chefs, you can buy fun meals that now come on Halloween magic meal trays. There's a magic trick in each fun meal. <laughs> there are ten different magic meal tricks you can collect. Burger Chef, you're incredible. <laughs> So 
surrender or pay the consequences. Zone Riders, looks like we're coming to a commercial. Let's fight the zone. Let's move it, people. Arigato, Katarina. Hustle up there, hero. Bust might leave without you. On board the Eagle. Hit it. What's happening, Commander? Dr. Lawrence will brief us once we're in the air. Attention, Zone Riders. Our satellites have discovered something unusual in the Northern California Zone. This is Shadow House, owned by a brilliant but eccentric scientist, Lewis Grayson. The house is near the center of the Northern California Zone. But as you can see, it is Unzer. We think that somehow Grayson has found a way to hold off the zone. I don't need to tell you how important it is that we find out how. You can count on us, General. The power sensor I've given Tank should help you track it down. But you'll have to hurry. Overlord's Black Widows are already attacking Shadow House. <laughs> has some kind of automatic defense system. Grayson has defenses against everything we have. I'd say we use the tanks. Smash the place to firewood. Not until I discover the secret of Shadow House. I must learn how to overcome whatever it is. <laughs> Scan readings, everybody. My Opti scan is malfunctioning, Commander. These power discharges are causing it. Well, looks like we'll have to play it by ear. Let's move out. These sonars will distract those automatic defenses while we. The Zone Riders! Open fire! Split up! Attack pattern Delta! Even 
Lights him off, Commander. Probably not for long. Max, maintain patrol while the rest of us check out Shadow House. You got it, Commander. another zone pod. Perhaps that will overcome this mysterious force field. You heard, Overlord! Put it on the track! What side? You and the rest of the Black Widows, take the force of Zoners to the house. Distract the Zone Riders while the new generator is set up. Just what? I was thinking of our lord. This place is a maze. I... I am totally lost. This way, if you please. I am Professor Lewis Grayson. How may I help you? Well, you must know why we're here, Professor. The Unzone world needs your anti-zone device. I'm afraid I cannot help you, Commander. I have never seen anything like this, Katarina. Something in this house is putting up more power than our reactor. Can you determine its location? I already have. Directly below. It is dangerous for you to stay here, sir. I am not without defenses, Commander Courage. With all respect, sir. You don't realize what you're up against. Overlord won't stop until he takes this house. Commander, now this was getting to be a milk run out here, but the milk just turned sour. I got Black Widows and Zonals coming my way. Company people, let's go. Commander, I think I have located the anti-zone device. Good. You stay here with the professor. The rest of you, come with me. Professor Grayson? Let us talk, yeah? <laughs> Only one of them. This is almost too easy. Is downstairs. Professor, will you show me, or shall I find it myself? The zone is getting closer. Uh, very well, Sergeant Smith. Come with me. Split up! Fluctuations of the zone are pushing back my force field. You have balanced the forces. Yes, but it is taking a lot of power to do so. Professor, I see no power source at your device. Where is it? <laughs> Get 
listen to Overlord. Stay tuned. The Zone Riders will be back. And now we return with more Spiral Zone action. Commander, smoke is coming from the basement. I am going to investigate. Roger, Katz. Schön. They almost cooked my schnitzel. Duchess Dyer to bandit. Mission accomplished. Break off. We have what we came for. I don't get it. Why did they just pull out? Because they have the professor. Sorry, Commander. Well, then we'll have to go after him. Max, Hero, and I'll go. I need you and Kat to stay here and look into that anti-zone device. I want you to find out what makes it tick. Drawing additional power from somewhere. Ah, uh, this may be it, huh? From the ground? Or from something in the ground? Let's find out. This will not take long. The professor must be in there. All right, here's the plan. Ah, Professor Grayson. I've so looked forward to meeting you. Tell me how your device works, Professor. Force field, power, balance. Ah, he's still disoriented from the initial zone effect. It's too soon to question him. Take him away. Without a doubt. But it looks like no power source I am familiar with. What is it? It is a meteorite. I discovered it years ago. I had a house built over it. It produces some kind of Mason decay field that keeps the zone at bay. We must get it out to examine it. But how? I do not think we can. It appears to be huge. Excellent, Professor. Tell the others to destroy the house and get the meteorite as soon as... The Zone Riders! Bot Widows, stand by! I'm taking Intruder up! Functioning. Prepare for ground attack.
suddenly grown stronger. The device is trying to compensate, but I don't think it can. Can you stop it? Nein, it is overloading. This device is going to blow up. It's no use. We're outnumbered. We better fall back to the house and get Captain Tank for reinforcements. Hi, Commander. Ah, this place is confusing. I have no idea which way leads out. Ah, don't we must hurry.
plant was destroyed in the explosion, except for the piece Katarina and Tank saved. Perhaps a study of it might reveal something useful. Ah, well, perhaps someday. A uh, pity it is gone. Still, some good has come out of all this. Uh, for what it's worth, after seeing Overlord in action, I am now convinced that my inventions should be used in the war against him. Well, that's worth a lot, Professor. Welcome to our side. We'll be right back with more Spiral Zone action. And now we return with more Spiral Zone adventure. Earth's most powerful soldiers fight the Spiral Zone. Our world calls for courage, peace and freedom. We must own. Peanuts characters in a happy Halloween special filled with ghosties and ghoulies and things that go bump in the night. It's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Monday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Hallmark's ready for Halloween, and you know, it's the strangest thing. Everybody's wild about new scratch and sniff stickers in special trick-or-treat packages. And they're dying to take home these cuddly pumpkin bean bags. And these party decorations are so popular, they seem to just disappear. So come to Hallmark, the Halloween store. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Goblins, werewolves, vampires, they're not real, but he is a real nightmare. Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance, it's the night he came home. Halloween 2, Thursday at 8 on Channel 17, Parental Discretion Advised. should have worn a costume. Yo, but beep what you got in your bag. Introducing Roy Rogers' Big Chicken Deal. Two plump and juicy pieces of fried chicken, hot crisp fries, and a fresh baked biscuit. Roy Rogers' Big Chicken Deal, just $1.99. Mmm. Don't you even think about it.
When we said we'd be coming along for the ride, we weren't kidding. Not much to look at, is there? <laughs> Present company included. Except in you, of course, JB. How sweet. Thank you. Hey! Mmm! If you're gonna get all syrupy, I ain't going no further. Suit yourself. But don't say I didn't warn you about those sand eels. Sand eels? Mmm! I'm getting out of here! <laughs> hey, there aren't any sand eels around these parts. Gotcha, partner. <laughs> Come on, I want to check a few places out yonder. Uh, Marshal, I'm going to take my leave and look in on one of my patients. Mac is going to keep me company. That's right. We'll meet up with you on the way back to Fort Cadium. Careful, Dad. Looks like those sands are pretty rough out there. Oh, don't worry. We'll take it slow. found any problems at any of the mining camps, it looks like we won't have to make another trip like this for a while. I hope not. I hate this trail. <laughs> you hate everything, 3030. I hate it when you say that. <laughs> Shh, hear anything? Ears of the wolf. Ears of the wolf. Ears of the wolf. Somebody's in trouble. Help! That way. Let's go. Can't you go any faster? I'm trying, but my transistors are resisting. Speed of the Puma! 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 Star, are you all right? Fine. Afraid I can't say the same about the mule. Sorry, friend. Never mind that. If it weren't for you, well, thanks. Now I I've got to get to town fast. Sounds urgent. What's the problem? Well, it's my. Sorry, that's my business. I just got to get there. That's all. Yeah! Woo! 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 Ah, I did it. I done did it. Look out! He's gonna shoot. R relax, 30. That's just Digger Knox. He won't hurt you. It was just a laser flare. Mm, I knew that. Howdy, Digger. What's going on? Marshal, eh, Judge? Ah, <laughs> diggity. Today's my day. I've never seen you so excited, Digger. <laughs> you want to know why? Come on and bring the horse. Hmm, horse? You called me a horse? Ain't that what you are? I'm a techno horse, thank you. Well, no offense. Come on! <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. I'll stay here and catch a nap. I've been overworked. Have a good time! 
Watch yourselves. This here tunnel ain't used to so much traffic. Should have used Electromag supports. You a miner, fella? Was. Name's Tog Salter. My money ran out and I had to quit. So you're Salter, yeah? The <laughs> way I heard it, you couldn't find nothing. You bought too much fancy equipment. It should have gone the old-fashioned way like me. Well, come on, go in. Looks like you finally hit it, Digger. Boy, this is about the biggest load I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Better get you back to town so you can file your claim. Wait a minute there, young villain. That's mine. There's enough to go around. Why well, should I share it when I earned it? Put it down, Tog. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody, but I need this carrium! Tog, don't do this. Now put that down. Don't be a fool. Sorry, Judge. I have to do this. Nothing else matters. No! I need help. Hello? Hello? Hey, does anyone hear me? <laughs> emergency! Emergency! <laughs> Angus and Doc, they said they'd be out this way. Ray, there's no way anyone could survive that, JD. Not even Graystar. What's that? Wanna give me a hand? I can't hold this mountain up all day. Oh, oh Bravestar! Stand back! Here goes nothing! Hysterion gas. Miners dread it. Makes you see things, lose control. This is all your fault, Tog. All right, Digger. We gotta work together now. Yeah, what difference does it make? We're trapped. Done for. Yep, it would appear that way. But let's take a closer look at our problem. The Optivisor said that this is the only part of the wall that's not solid. Looks like it wasn't lying. Let's go, folks. Ain't much time. That gas is moving fast. Sorry, Tug, but I gotta make sure you don't pull another fast one. What is that thing? A sonic shackler. Name, Tog Salter. Planet, Amethyst. Married, one child. Occupation, scientist. Received Emeritus Ecological Award for saving green forest. No criminal record. Where's Bravestar, me? 
my daughter. <laughs> They're back, back there. there. There's a cave in. I need help. Come on. Huh? No time to think about it. That gas is going to find every crack. Come on. Whoa, hold it. Why are we stopping? Those are shooting stalactites and stalagmites. You don't want to go through there. Not much choice. Watch, Marshal. See what happens. You gave me an idea, Digger. I'll see if I can clear a path. Get ready to follow me through. I don't know what happened, but we better move while we can. Let's go. I'm not getting... Oh, wait. Yes, thank goodness. Four bio-readings. They're alive. But they're far from here, deep inside this mountain. We've got to find a way in. Everyone okay? Fine. Okay. Brave Star! Oh. 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 What's that noise? Yeah, it's coming from up there. Yeah, look out! Bad angles! Take the shuttler off, please! I can't defend myself! Don't get any funny ideas about running away, Tog. Soon as the fight's over, I'm putting this back on you. Look! We'll see about that. You asked for it! Get away, you batty critter! Get shot, Judge. Thank you. Any time, Digger. Those critters took the marshal through that hole. How are we gonna get up there? Volcano crater. They're storing the marshalist food for the winter. Uh, Todd, stop! He's trying to get away. No, he's trying to save Brave Star. Come on, Beth Eagle. Come and get me. Pick on someone who's awake. Nice work, Tog. The guy goes from being a crook to a hero. Go figure. Come on, Batty. Get me. Get me. Oh. Oh. Quick, Marshal. Okay, let's see how you like being laser lassoed. <laughs> They look so happy together. Strength of the bear! The bear, bear, bear. That ought to buy us a little time. Now let's figure a way out of here. 
Hurry up, guys. That's hysterian gas. They must be getting it down there. No said. I'm setting a carrium charge to blow the sucker. No, that's too big. Turn. Well, back to digging. Quick. If we can cut a hole in the floor, place the pot on top, and heat up the lava beneath... Good idea. The steam buildup could trigger an explosion, like an old pistol. Exactly. How did he know that? The man used to be a scientist. JB? Tog, get that pot ready. Digger, your axe. Gotta cut me a hole in that floor. <laughs> Everyone into the pod. Wait, what about you? Someone's got to fire the gun. Uh-uh, we're not going to leave you. Maybe, just maybe, I can get some help. Shaman, I need you. Bring me the fire of your spirit. I hear your call, my son. That which you ask shall be tried. Take your place with the others. Yahoo! It worked! Here we go! Gonna hit too hard. Gotta make an air cushion to let you down easy. Speed of the Puma! 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 Yahoo! That's my man. Well, y'all check out. You were very lucky. Tog, why would someone as smart as you want to steal? Person gets desperate when he has a sick boy and no money. Well, why didn't you just ask for some? If you had told me what you needed, I ain't given it to you. No matter what your reasons are, Tog, it's wrong to steal. I know that now. I'm ready to go to jail. And I didn't even get anything for all my... and your trouble. It usually ends up that way when you take something that isn't yours. That won't be necessary. I don't understand. Digger had an idea and Marshall and I agreed. Instead of going to jail, you'll be working for him for the next year. And I'm a tough boss. It's a deal. Go on, get back to your kid, but be back first thing in the morning. I'll give you a ride home, and when we get there, I can check your son out. We'll have him well, I promise you. Thank you, everybody, thank you. I think he's gonna be okay. Oh, let's get out of here before one of us, I mean you, starts slobbering. <laughs> <laughs> In today's adventure, Tug found out that stealing wasn't the way to solve his problems. Well, I reckon he was mighty desperate, but that ain't an excuse for stealing. There is no good reason for stealing. Right, because there's always another way to get what you need. It might not be the easiest way, but in the long run, it's the best. It's called the honest way. See you soon, parts. Make Halloween fun with one-stop shopping at Woolworth or Woolco for your Halloween needs. Costumes from $1.83 to $3.99, like Six Million Dollar Man, Bionic Woman, Superheroes, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, and a new favorite for girls, Holly Hobby. You can get wrapped candies of every kind, bubblegum, lollipops, fun-size candy bars. Get this Halloween record, sounds to make you shiver just $1.89. Make Halloween fun and easy. Make just one stop at Woolworth or Woolco. I think you'll like this house. Uh, isn't this supposed to be haunted? Haunted? 
What an absurd idea. <laughs> so, I mean, what would a ghost be doing here? <laughs> what is... David. No other diet soft drink delivers the real cola taste of one calorie diet Coke. The real one. It's lifting more and more spirits every day. is on to Diet Coke. Diet Coke! Watch out for him. It started to happen again. Dad! I'm in trouble. You've had some scary dreams, okay? Help! Daddy can't help you now. Freddy is back on Elm Street. Ah. And he's not a welcome visitor. A Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 2. Freddy's Revenge. Rated R from New Line Cinema. Now showing at a theater near you. You know what a teaser is, darling? No? Well, let me, Elvira, give you an example. You can win a thousand bucks in the Coors Light Spring Green Sweepstakes. When I give you this phone number, dial it. And if you're the 50th caller, voila, you win. But I ain't giving it to you just yet. Find out when at this Coors and Coors Light display. And that, darling, is a teaser. I'll give you another one, but I'm not that kind of girl. So, nobody's perfect. Jeremy, nobody threatens the Centerville Debating Society. Nobody! <laughs> well, that about wraps up the damage that was done to Granite City. How are you two coming along? I think I'm done with Tank's suit. How does it feel? It feels uh, like a tank! It should. It's made out of tank parts. Concerning tank. I don't want to ruin your day, but I've made a deal with the Russians. Uh... Mother Russia does not look fondly on traitors, comrade Tank. You, you swine! You dare call me a traitor? We, uh, we can't have violence here. Uh, guards, put him in custody. <laughs> 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 Offer, but I must complete my mission and destroy Metlar's command center. Farewell, Earth Corps. Das Vidanya. It's suicide for him to try it alone. I don't know, Bright. I got a hunch we'll be seeing Tank again. Good evening. This is Hector Ramirez of 20 Questions. Tonight, we ask one of the most important questions of our time. Just where are all our teenagers going? I don't know. It beats me. Who cares? Well, we at 20 Questions do care. Our investigation has led us to a brand new cult. Like, you know, it's totally cool, okay? Uh, 
everybody wants to join. Yeah, it's boss, man. Really boss. Nobody tells us nothing, man. It's about power. Total, absolute, uncontrollable power. And I'm gonna get some. Hey! But as this hidden tape recording shows, what's happening is definitely not just a minor fad. Greetings, grumps! We'll kick you in the teeth today! Yeah! yeah! Parents been dumping on you! Yeah! For who needs you? Yeah! Brother Druid's got the solutions, youngins! All you gotta have is the courage to take what's yours! Yeah! Well, not exactly Dale Carnegie, but still nothing illegal. Or is there? This is the Shore Foundation, one of the city's, indeed the nation's, biggest corporations. For months, we've heard disturbing rumors about Shore Foundation money being used to finance Brother Druid. What do you mean, breaking in here like this? Easy, Matilda. I'll handle this. Yes, what do you want? What about reports that the Shore Foundation is funding Brother Druid's underground activities? No comment. Actually, there is some money missing from the corporate accounts. But as far as I know, none of it has gone to Brother Druid. Ooh, that Hector Ramirez really ticks me off. Relax, Sandra. You haven't been the subject of one of his hatchet jobs. But somebody is financing the mysterious Brother Druid and helping him incite vandalism among teenagers. Tonight, 20 Questions is going inside the underground cathedral to expose Brother Druid for who and what he is. Jeez, have you ever seen a bigger jerk in all your life? Okay, we're outside the underground cathedral right now. I'm going in first, and as soon as I have the proof, I'm bringing the camera crew in. I was wrong. The underground cathedral is a wonderful place. Brother Druid is so nice. Uh, I'm going now. Bye. <laughs> now that's a hoot. Old Hector Ramirez got sucked into his own story. This is no laughing matter, Auger. Consider where the underground cathedral's located. Huh? Where it's located? Underground. Right. And that means the Inhumanoids may be mixed up in this. Ah, uh, nuts! Herc, save the set! Oh, got it! <laughs> Tonight's the night we've all been waiting for, my children! Behold! The ultimate revelation! Didn't I tell you the mind control gas would work? They're all your willing slaves. Well, this looks like the place. Where are the kids? Does that answer your question? Yeah, and a whole lot more. Let's not just stand here. Looks like we gave him the slip. Nobody here. Look. There's a cave behind the stage. Well, gang, the only way we're gonna find Decompose. Yeah, yeah, I know, is go in after him. I mean, I don't see how anybody could possibly hold Aristotle... Huh? Grace, totally unprofessional. Hector Ramirez goes on the air for a story and he disappears.
Wherever this has taken us, it keeps getting deeper and darker. And more dangerous. Yeah, but how do we get out of here? Details, details. Take a look over here! Skellweb. We're smack dab in Decomposer's backyard. Okay, 16.95, not counting tip. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, liquidator? Don't look at me, Bright. I don't carry money. Too heavy! With these chemicals, Mangla will perfect the formula. Those poor kids, they don't know what they're doing. This way, this way to obtain power beyond your imagining. Decompose! We can't let them decompose her, we can't. You okay, miss? So, Herr Gobstrop, we meet again! Check the fluid level in your brain, Chowderhead. I've never met you in my life. No, but you have met Blackthorn Shaw! <laughs> Fool! Never leave your back unprotected! Doctor Mangler? I've touched you recognize me, my dear. Too bad we don't have time to get truly acquainted. Sandra, get the kids out! I'll handle the work! Quick! Get out the way you came! This is gonna be more difficult than I... Still up? It's two in the morning. Any word from Herc? Only that note they left behind. Looking for Hector Ramirez and missing teens back soon. I don't like it. Something happened and we don't know about it. Uh-oh. It's showtime. This tears it. I'm installing that deep warning system tomorrow. If there is a tomorrow... Gloves are off and the claws are on. Liquidator, can you read me? We're under attack by the U.S. Army. They're trying to stop these teenage decomposers. Who's that? Bison. Okay, Bright, you got my attention. Now tell me what they are. Good work, man. 
Stand clear, we'll blow these ghouls to smithereens. Those are our friends. Friends? You mean fiends? Well, those things have been tearing up the city. Check. They've been contaminated by exposure to decompose. Once sunlight hits them, they'll be good as new. Well, that may be. But if that ice melts and they get free before sunup, my men are gonna blast them. Decompose, grows and patient. Within the hour, you will never have to fear sunlight again. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Turn me into one of your mindless decomposed monsters. Everything on the face of the earth will be just like me, including you forever! The ice is starting to melt. I'm calling in an airstrike. Liquidator, hit him with another shot of liquid nitrogen. I'd love to, pal, but I'm all tapped out. Ready? Aim! Hold it! You guys okay? Yeah. If you can call being turned into your own worst nightmare okay. Where's Sandra? She's still trapped about a mile and a half down with Blackthorn and Decompose. Okay, now for freezies. One, two, uh, three. Okay, pilots, at my signal, open fire. Then stop immediately. We don't want to hurt the kids inside when they change back to normal. Well, I think I ought to have some say in this operation. If, by some weird freak of nature, we should ever want your opinion, we'll take a crowbar and beat it out of you, comprende, Effendi? Fire! Influence of the Inhumanoids. It's time now for you all to go home. Hold on just a second, you guys. Let me get a news crew so we can... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ramirez, but if you go with us, well, you're liable to get your legs broke and both lights punched out. I'm not scared of the Inhumanoids. I'm talking about me, you media clown. Now get out of here! <laughs> Success! Success! Let's tell Decompose! We have the formula, Decompose! Get their attention. I'll rescue Sandra, then you free the teens. Ugh, at long last! Now, no Decompose need fear the sun! Oh, swell. This is the result of years of mindless entertainment. Uh, Brother Druid has a big surprise for all of you at the Underground Cathedral. So let's hop to it, gang. Don't want to miss our milk and cookies. Sounds like our cue. Look out! No! Time to get moving. Where's my brother and Nightcrawler? Don't worry, Brighton Liquidator. I'll turn him over to the authorities. Come on! Hurry! Hurry! Think Decompose is finished? Don't bank on it. Destroyed me! But now it's time for freedom! 
Hi, I'm a Boglin. Me and my buddies want to be your friend, right, guys? Right. 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 Call us at 1-900-909-5464 and hear how we can protect you from ferocious beasts. <gasps> and help you teach your grade your math test. Yeah, a new story every day. One call gets you a 3D Boglin hologram like this. Four calls get you a set of six. Trade them with your buddies. And part of your $2.35 two-minute call goes to Special Olympics. So get your parents' permission and call us at 1-900-909-5464. Go get the phone! I said get it, not eat it! So, you want to know the story of Splatterhouse? The new horror video game for TurboGrafx-16? They say he stalks the old haunted mansion. They say he's looking for his girlfriend. They say his only weapon against the maggot-eating ghouls who took her is a 2 by 4 And you say you want to play this game? Splatterhouse. Only for the TurboGrafx-16 system from NEC. Friday the 13th, those designing women are getting lucky in Vegas. And Anthony's getting lucky too. <laughs> then, who stole the last page of Bob's new comic book? Ah! It's Bob like I've never seen him before. Ah! It'd be bad luck to miss it. workout on the treadmill. But if you really want to be in the running for a great body like mine... <laughs> let me jog your memory about nutrition. To get your day off to a screaming start, take a little wheat germ, or any other kind of germ you might like. I'm a little partial to bubonic plague myself. Throw in some garbonzo beans, carrot juice, and voila! It's a crypt cocktail, a smooth and creamy chiller. Uh-oh. I guess you'll have to settle for our story. It's about a weakling named Wendell who had a bully of a time until he learned how to play hide-and-go-shoot. Right, Rex. Gotcha. Where should I stand, Rex? Where do you want me? You play left out, Wendell. Get it? Left out. Left out? Okay, sure. I can do that. So I stand right here? I got it! I got it! It's mine, Dalt! Fumble! Fumble! <laughs> huh? Whoa! Ah! What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Call 911! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you 
didn't cost us a turnover, Wimp. Come on, guys, spread out. What's the play, Rex? And Wendell goes long. Got it? You can count on me. Oh! Hat one, hat two, hat three. Go, Wendell, go! Go wide! Wider! You fix his shorts? They should get right about now! Huh? <laughs> That's the best one yet, Rex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right across the street. <laughs> yeah, you sure got me that time, Rex. I guess you could say that's one way to get my vitamins. <laughs> you may be a dweeb, Wendell, but you sure can't take a joke. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hand it to old Wendell, Rex. He can take whatever you can dish out. Yeah, we'll see about that. Gee, what am I gonna wear now? What you got there, Wheeze? Tie-dye project for art class? <laughs> <laughs> Nuts! It's Hubka! Grievous? Yes, Mr. Hubka? Didn't I tell you to lighten up on Wendell? Uh, mm. It's okay, Mr. Hubka. The guys are just having a little fun, that's all. No harm done. Yeah, sure, Wendell, but I'm telling you, you're too nice for your own good. Okay, towels in. Now! Boy, Wendell sure saved our butts that time, huh, Rex? I'm gonna wipe that grin off his face once and for all. I wouldn't want to be in Wendell's shoes. Me neither. But I wouldn't mind seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> And to think, Dr. Jekyll, you used to be a scrawny little pipsqueak. <laughs> like me. Look at the size of that sucker. It's all thanks to a high-protein diet, regular exercise, and my special ingredient. Tender, loving care. Dr. Jekyll's my best friend. Hey, wait! So what kind of rat is he, Wendell? Be careful, Rex. Is he a pack rat? Or maybe he's a... <gasps> Back rat! Whoa! 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 Go, Wendell, go! <laughs> Dr. Jekyll! You've gone too far, Revis. Come on, Wendy. Can't you take a joke? This goes well beyond the limit of human tolerance. I'm gonna make you pay. Okay. What did that thing set you back? About a buck eighty? <laughs> I owe you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like old Wendy can't take a joke after all. <laughs> Up? I don't believe it. Need some help, Window? Hi, guys. No thanks. I have to do this by myself. Ugh. Hey, I. You're gonna give yourself a hernia, Wendell. Yeah, and you walk funny enough already. No time for humor, fellas. I'm serious about this. I'm bulking up. Look. Feel this. Ouch! Don't break it. It's the only one I've got. But I'll soon have lots more. 
Then I'll have it out with Rex Revis once and for all. Mono a mono. Excuse me. This gives me a radical idea. <laughs> Listen, Wendell. You're going at this all wrong, guy. Uh, yeah. At this rate, you'll be an old man by the time you're ready to take on Rex. Right. You need immediate results. A special all-organic program that'll put muscles on muscles in a matter of days. Whoa! You guys know where I can get something like that? Wendo, you've come to the right place. Look at all this neat stuff. I didn't know your father owned a health food store, Chet. Yeah. Well, don't let it get around. Find something, Chet? This'll do. I mean, this is the stuff, all right. Is that it? You bet. Wow. Where's he get it, Chet? It was here when he bought the store. Guaranteed to turn even the scrawniest weave into a bloodthirsty battling beast overnight. Zen Master Chen's old yarrow root tea? Yeah. It's a, an ancient formula. All the kung fu guys drink it. Wow. It doesn't come cheap. And it's the last box. How much? How much you got? Wow, 40 bucks. Uh, what do you think, Chen? Okay, because Wendell's a pal. Three bags? Believe me, you don't want to overdo this stuff. Besides, if you need more, you know where to come. Wait till I bump into Rex now. Boy, is he gonna be surprised. <laughs> 40 bucks! Let's go squander it needlessly. It's like he vanished. I swear we're taller. No, Louie, this. Monster on the loose? Maybe that tea we gave Wendell, you know. Maybe it worked. No way, Chet. Oh, that jump must have messed you up more than we thought. But if it is, Wendell, if it did work. Uh -oh. 
So we sold them the tea bags to turn them into a monster to get even with you, and now we think they work. Your father owns a health food store? It's about the tea, Rex. Uh, yeah, we think it turned Wendell into a real monster. Uh, maybe. And maybe you think I'm dumb enough to believe that, huh? Never, Rex. But look at the headlines. If it ain't in the sports section, I don't read it. But Rex, if it is Wendell, he's probably laying in wait out there to get you. Good. Because I've been waiting for an excuse to take that little dweeb apart. Looking for you, Rex. Yeah? Well, ain't that something. I've been looking for you, dweeb. It's time you paid for what you did to Dr. Jekyll. Your magic tea, right? Chet and Louie told me all about it. One sip and you turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go ahead, Wendy. Drink some more! Knock yourself out! You think I believe that baloney? Thanks. Eyes, 
Claws, he's after me because I let his rat escape. Don't let him get me. Now take it easy, son. Who's after you? Wendell, the dweeb. You don't understand. The magic tea changes him. He's the monster. Well, thanks to the newspapers, everyone in town seeing monsters. In their closets, at the convenience store. And delivering pizzas. But Wendell is the monster! Now listen, we got every available man on the job. Whatever's out there, we'll catch it. So you go home, lock your door, and leave it to us. It'll be too late. He wants me. What am I gonna do? I'll fix him. That's it, Rex. Better not be holding out on me. It's the whole box. Honest, all we got. Okay, cool it off. <laughs> you think this is a good idea, Rex? Yeah, uh, look what one bag did to Wendell. That's right. But this will make me ten times the monster he is. Then we'll see who comes out on top. If this stuff doesn't work, I'll... Yeah. feeling that right from the start, Wendell knew that this was the way it was going to go down. Rex Revis was the monster? Awesome! Dr. Jekyll! You came back! Woof! about poor Rex. He should have checked the label before he wolfed down his tea. Uh-oh. For beast results, don't exceed one serving or things will get pretty hairy. Boy, this stuff really puts scare on your chest. But at least I got my fruity pebbles. Fruity. A ghost! Only a fruity pebbles can set my spirit free. My fruity pebbles? Okay. okay. Mmm, frighteningly fruity flavors. Thanks, Fred. Bonnie! Boo. Yeah! Bone appetite. <laughs> Wake up! You're dreaming! These new mad scientists are really good! Mad scientists? 
for some more hauntingly delicious Count Chocula cereal. Don't look in the basement. Eee, those eyes are looking at me. Hmm, think I'll get some fruity frankenberry from the cupboard. Don't look in the cupboard. Oh, oh, those eyes, they move. Now the spooky delicious part of your complete breakfast is even spookier. Now Chocula's eyes really move. So did frankenberries. He is looking at you, kids. <laughs> What do you think the boys and girls of Dark are doing out here in the middle of a Louisiana swamp in the middle of the night? A sensitivity retreat? Getting in touch with their inner juvenile delinquent. The Directorate of Anarchy, Chaos, and Revenge has been busy. A new secret headquarters? Not anymore. You are under arrest for criminal trespass, illegal possession of unlicensed firearms, and failure to display a proper building permit. And for resisting arrest. of Criminal Code Section 457D, assaulting an officer. And you are starting to annoy me! As I said, you are all under arrest! Where'd everybody go? Hey! What just happened here? Those three dark agents aren't going anywhere. The local authorities sealed off this whole area. But they didn't just evade us, they vanished. And I think someone somewhere around here knows how they did it. Well, a door-to-door -door search won't take long. I don't think there's anybody out here in the middle of a swamp. Actually, I think we're lost. I have global satellite positioning. I can't be lost. See? Global Tech Unlimited? Oh, nerds! You made me miss them! Flies around here 
fierce. Uh, can I help y'all? We're federal agents. We're investigating the disappearance last night of three people in a nearby swamp. Ooh, shiny. And you are? Name's Kudzu Bodine. I'm a sort of administrative director around here. Terrific. Then you can help us with our investigation. Uh, sorry, but I can't say nothing without Mr. Mulch's say-so. And he would be? Mr. Maribo Bonaparte Mulch, head honcho of Global Tech. He's, uh, out in the field right now, and I don't rightly know when he'll be back. <sighs> Look at that. Never did that for me before. Look, I, I'm here all by myself, and I got a lot of watering to do. Uh, please go. Since Mr. Mulch isn't here, please give him our card when he returns. You asked her to go? You opened the door and sent her away? Th they made me nervous. I'm sorry. I'm tired of your constant apologies. And get me more stabilizing serum. Hurry! You almost ruined everything, you little weed. But here's your stabilizing stuff. It's called serum. Or did you quit school before they got around to the five-letter words? But... Maribel! It's taken me months to produce my special pawns. Now they're nearly ready. Thousands of them. Ready to transform others into my slaves. And as king of this new world, I require a worthy queen. And you send her away! Well, that was totally surreal. Clearly, Global Tech Unlimited requires closer examination. Hmm. Global Tech's reserved a massive cargo hold on a freighter leaving New Orleans in three days. Stops at every major port in the world. Dinky little Global Tech? Which begs the questions, what are they shipping and why? Somehow, I'm going to make that woman my queen. <laughs> Is that why you blossomed for her? You never did that for me. I thought I was gonna be your queen. You, a grade school dropout? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, what's that? She's where? Perfect. That's all I needed to know. These plants have overrun this area in less than 24 hours. You know, the weird thing is how normal everything looks. I'll get some samples over here. It's you. If you're looking for Maribel, save your breath. 
He's gone. My partner disappeared in a sea of ivy. I think you know how, I think you know why, and I think you're going to tell me now. That flea bit old hound dog Mulch, he really done went and took her, huh? Apparently so. Why would Mulch want Agent Miner? Cause he's a jerk, his wife. Ever since the accident, Maribo's been more plant than man. And he wants to make himself king of the whole wide world. I was gonna be his queen, till your trampy friend showed up. The lady is not a tramp. Where is he taking Agent Miner? Probably to his super secret greenhouse, where he's keeping his pod thingies, so he can turn her into his queen. He's going to transform her somehow? Where is it? You can't get there from here. You need a swamp buggy. do that practice let's go you'll never get away with this oh of course i will i'm not human anymore not bound by your rules soon you'll understand my blossom you'll understand everything i understand i'm gonna kick your chrysanthemums <laughs> 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 Soon we will rule the world together. Now rest until you are ready to arise as my queen, my pretty one. My arm. I can't need more stabilizing serum. It's too soon. You're certain this is the way? Yeah, he's been holing up out here ever since the accident. You mentioned an accident. What happened? My Maribo used to be a big league scientist type. He was working for some big old agriculture company, developing himself some kind of super plant booster, till one day he zigged when he should have zagged and got to test his formula up close and personal. Ever since, he's been, uh, I don't know, different. It's like other plants listen to him, do stuff for him and all. Trouble is, he keeps getting more and more like a plant and less like a human being every day. He made up Global Tech and hired me to put in the orders for the chemicals he needs to keep himself human. Elsewise, he'd end up rigid as a redwood. I gave up a good job at the U Pick Strawberry Stand to be with him. Sure, it was all business at first, but I could tell he started to care for me some. And now that rotten stump goes and falls for that minor gal of yours. Agent Miner is not my gal. She is an agent with the federal government and one of the finest officers it has ever been my privilege to work with. What? Ever? Greenhouse should be over there. My, my, you got all kinds of parts, don't you? Can you make milkshakes? Because if you can make milkshakes, I could get you a real good job over at the Jiffy Swirl. Stay close. Oh, Maribo's gonna get what's coming to him. Let's go. Mulch, you are under arrest for the kidnapping of a federal agent. Kidnapping? Ha! The lovely Miss Miner is free to go. Oh, Rosebud, your little metal friend is here. Do you want to leave? Huh? <laughs> the dark agents. Wrong! They work for me now. Miner! Are you all right? To her. I've awakened her to the real world, the lush, unlimited power of botanical greatness. My podmen, come with me. My queen, deal with Robocop.
I don't know, Machete. I don't want to fight you. Well done, my queen. Keep that humanoid trash compact or occupied while I attend to other business. Not so quick, Slick. You and me's got our own unfinished business. Don't you have something you need to bleach? <laughs> I'm sending each of you on a little trip. See that my pods are distributed properly. You know what to do. The world will be mine! Ryder, you must stop! You don't want to do this! Forgive me, Miner. I will try to make this quick. <laughs> Time to mow and blow. <laughs> Maribo. He's getting away. I will return. Do not harm Miner. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Rollerblades. Fan. Queen, we will... Oh, not again. I need my stabilizing serum. safely restrain her. Tape dispenser. Cool beans. You got her trussed up like a root ball, so she'll keep. But how do we restore her to normal? Maybe this'll help. It's got all of Mulchel's experiments. He don't think I know things, but I do. Y'all ought to be able to figure out a cure from what's in- You filthy traitor! <gasps> Maribo! All my work, all my dreams, ruined because of you! I'll prune you out of existence! Do not touch her. Look out! That's super grow plant fertilizer! You can't stop me. No one can. I am the master of the plant world. You are becoming a plant. Look at yourself. Your movements are growing slower, more sluggish. Let us help you mulch before it's too late. Let you make me what I was before. Small, frail, human. Never. I will. No. <gasps> help me. I don't want to end like this. 
But he has treated you very badly. But look, kid. He needs me. I still love him. Even if he is a dogwood. I am pleased Mulch's counteragent restored you to normal so quickly, even if it is too late for him. Not half as pleased as me, Murphy. Green isn't really my color. Can I get out now? My fingers are all wrinkly. Kudzu, are you okay? I hope I didn't hurt you back then. Uh, actually, I was thinking, what with Maribo all tree-like and all, you think if I went back to school and all, maybe I could do what you do someday? If you finish your education, you can do anything. Even be a special agent? You think so? We know so. I'll call y'all when I'm all graduated. We look forward to it. Goodbye, Kudzu. Are you up for the trip home, Miner? I'm fine. Mm, fresh as a daisy. This week, Kids WB is treating you to Halloween cartoons in the afternoon. Instead of seeing the regular big cartoony show, you'll see all the big cartoony stars in super spooky Halloween specials. Regular episodes of Pokemon are being taken to the Pokebat, so you can see the really scary ones. And regular episodes of Batman Beyond and the Batman Superman adventures are being replaced with... Wait a minute, they're not being replaced. Those things are always scary. It's super spooky afternoons, starting Monday on Kids WB. Elvira here, mistress of the dark and sometimes surfer babe, because Coors Light is the official beer of Halloween at the parties at the beach, Malibu Beach, where you can hang ten, look, Frankie and Annette, and of course, when it's time to chill, just reach for that cooler of Coors Light, aged, ice cold, never frozen stiff, it's the right beer now for Halloween, just look for the silver bullet smooth display and dig up your friends now for a party at the beach, happy Halloween, dudes. Hello. Good pirate. Thanks. Wow, cool costume. Thanks. I'll be right back. Save my seat, boys. Gentlemen, for all you do, this bud's for you. Thanks. Four students are about to learn. Who do you think I am? Their teacher's terrifying secret. Who is that? My brother. Michael! Critics call Halloween H2O sensational. <laughs> Smart and nonstop scary. Jamie Lee Curtis makes a triumphant return. Finally, a sequel. 
that lives up to the original <laughs> Halloween H2O. Join hands. Uh, let's just speed it up, huh? In the cloak of this dark hour, I call upon the ancient power. Let loose your spirits wild and free. Jack-o'-lantern, come to me. Well, that was a waste of time. us enough for what we do. They don't pay us. That's what I've been thinking. Hey! Cake bump! No. Son, interplanetary wars are started that way. Uh, misunderstanding, Ambassador Penny. Uh, set the ambassador up with a new costume, please. Whoa, hold up. Halloween's next week, right? Nineteen months in Tarn calendar's really thrown you off, Slick. MIB sure gets into the spirit of things. Aliens like Halloween. Trick or treat! Uh, invitation to Bedlam, if you ask me. Nobody's who they seem, can't tell the Martians from the Venusians. But it's good for morale. Anyone seen Zed? You're funny, Al. Heads up, horror fans! The Jack O' Lantern Scarathon starts in five minutes. Remember, for the weak of stomach and faint of hearts, we provide barf bags and a licensed nurse. I'm doing surgery. Fat costume, Troy. Two-headed transplant. Dracula, Lord of the Undead, duh. So, what do you say, Duke? Down for a fright flick? The alien criminal element likes Halloween, too, son. Every agent is on the front lines tonight. You and Kay hit the streets. Groucho speaks. Not you, you. Agent you. Reporting for duty, sir. <clears throat> what about me? Uh, Groucho has a special assignment for you, son. Trick or treating? We personally requested you to be our escort. Let me get them for you, then. No, 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 no. You, you. Not agent you. You're, You're like, like a father to us. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? Call me Joe. Cup of Joe. I'm a percolator. Agent K, maybe he's finest. Agent J, I'm with him. That's so. How am I supposed to tell you two apart? I just want you to know, sir, that it is an honor and a privilege to be your partner. I guess you could say you've been a role model for me, a real... I get the picture. 
anything you want, sir. Consider it done. You say jump, I say how high. You say wait in the car. And I'll wait in the car. Yes, sir. You can count on me. We're a team through thick and now. I'm there. Okay, am I glad to see you? You're never glad to see me, Frank. What's got your tail in a tangle? I got bit by a werewolf. What'd he look like? Terrier, Jack Russell. Mean. What makes you think this terrier was a lycanthrope? Hello, -o. it bit me on Halloween night under a full moon. You're a bright guy, do the math. <sighs> Don't know why you called me, Frank. Supernatural's outside MIB jurisdiction. Who are you gonna call? Recommend a rabies shot. Don't know where that terrier's been. If I sprout here at midnight and start howling at the moon, it's gonna be on your end, Kate! <laughs> Guys, wait up! adorable alien costumes. Alien costumes? What does she mean, alien? Hmm. Hmm. Talk about unclear on the concept. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Candy. Me too. Me too. I got sardines. That's no treat. We've been gypped. We, we are coming. A little 411, fellas. Candy is the Halloween tradition. Time for a trip. Team Team. Whoa, 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 hold up. Where'd you score all that TP? Bob, a little help here. No joke, now, unless you guys get with the program, we're headed back to HQ. I'm an intergalactic law enforcement agent, not an alien babysitter, know what I'm saying? Yo? <laughs> Running, running, get ready, gonna fall, gonna fall, gonna fall. She fell. They always fall. Shh. You could put out someone's eye with that thing, you know. Sorry. <laughs> what a rip. Focus, focus! Yeah, but focus, focus. What do you mean the power's out? That's impossible. We've got five backup systems. Jack O' Lantern did it. He always mutilates his victims in the dark. <laughs> Everyone, calm down. I assure you, there is no such thing as Jack O' Lantern. He's a figment of Earth's imagination, a make believe goblin with a pumpkin for a head. <laughs> Pretty good laugh for a make believe goblin. Hmm. Children, beware. Each Halloween, when the blood moon is full, Jack O' Lantern rises from the netherworld. Really? You don't say. Tell us more. Can you top this off? Yo, worms! <gasps> I mean, kids! <laughs> Sorry about the intrusion, ma'am. Beware, kind sir. Jack O' Lantern steals away children on All Hallows' Eve, then sucks out their bones to make their parents grieve. Appreciate the warning. You know you're not supposed to drink coffee before bedtime, children. Now let's go. Okay, just one more step. Ah! Uh oh. Not done yet. I didn't get any coffee. Uh oh. <laughs> Beware. Beware. Coffee drinking worms from outer space is one thing, but bone sucking pumpkins? Granny's bugging big time. Yeah, why does a pumpkin want bones anyway? What, 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 what? We don't believe in that shadow over there. The one with the pumpkin head. Do we? Just a kid in a... Costume? Big kid. Realistic costume. <laughs> Jack o' <-Lantern. gasps> He only sucks out kids' bones. Who <laughs> puts her kids? It might be. Freeze! <laughs> oh, boy.
That's right. These incredibly lifelike get-ups are the latest in Halloween attire. Okay! He's overpriced. You're bargain shoppers. Jeebs, you know selling human suits to humans is... Redundant? Illegal. Oh, you're such a Grinch, Kay. Why don't you lay off the small businessman and harass some big fish? Throw me a bone. I might oblige. Well, there was a landing in Hackensack tonight. Pumpkin patch, if you can believe it. I'm game if you are, sir. <coughs> this better not be a trick. You lost a worm? Well, find him! Might need some backup for this one, Chief. Perp's a big dude. Put a dent in me. It was Jack-o'-lantern. He thought we were cute. It's his M.O. He sucks eggs, you know. Bones. Bones. What is it with you people and Jack-o'-lantern? I don't have time for campfire tales. I don't care what night of the year it is. Begging your pardon, sir, but I thought you might want to know. Not now, son. Who nabbed the worm, Junior? But, sir... I said not now. Didn't get a good look at him, Chief. He had a big head. Big like a pumpkin. I get it. This is a trick. Well, stay off the line. I expect this nonsense from the worms, not from my agents. But... Ah! Uh, uh. This is Jack's doing. His dark powers are greatest on Halloween night. Troy, I'm with Zed on this one. We can't attribute this gravitational anomaly to Jack O'Lantern. Thank you! These are definitely symptoms of a haunting. What did Zed say? Is there something back up? What are we gonna do? Jack's gonna suck out Jay's bones. Nobody's sucking out my bones. Not you, Jay. Worm Jay. He's always getting into scrapes. He's the rookie. Now we're dealing with the supernatural. Very scary. Which means we can't rely on our usual methods. The a spell. Why didn't I think of that? The old crone told us about a spell that'll send Mr. O'Lantern back to the pumpkin patch. Wishing he'd never been hatched. We'll need a big brown onion. You sure it wasn't a red onion? And the fat of a hog. That would be lard. This is a spell or a recipe? And a bell. Sure it wasn't a bell pepper? <laughs> How do you explain this thing? Renegade electromagnetic field effective alien technology. There's a hundred scientific explanations. The paranormal is a scientific explanation. I'm telling you, it's Jackie O. I've seen the flicks. Out with the lights, then out with our bones. So why aren't you scared? Don't have bones. See? Simple power outage. Never seen electrical current do that before. Jack's taking Bob to the other side. It's like that Twilight Zone. Jack's boneless victims are back from the beyond. They've become his minions. That's ridiculous. Those are just human suits. Empty human suits that happen to be dancing the Lombada. I'm telling you, it's a poltergeist. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. <laughs> Yourself. Shut up. <laughs> Jack only sucks out the bones of kids, right? When it's big people, Jack likes brains. He's gonna suck out my brain! Ah! I can't believe it. this is the best part! Ah! or what you are, but I've had enough! You whack Jack! You rock! <laughs> Ambassador Penny, I'm sorry. We'll get you another. We better not. Wait till Jay hears you shot Ambassador Penny, too! Get off of me! <laughs> I'm here for you, brother. That may not have been Jack, but Bob is still somewhere inside that view screen. The furniture needs to be nailed down and... etc. Well, what do you suggest? Since the MIB manual seems useless at this point, how about a seance? Cool!
An alien craft, sir. Specifically, a transport from Barthok. You're good, sir. Their slave traders scour the galaxy for little people to sell as slave labor back home. Well, no leprechauns around here. <laughs> <clears throat> Jack-o'-lantern kidnapped me. Look right here, Half-Pint. Uh, sir? You run along home now, son, and be sure you tell everyone exactly what happened. They'll never believe me. Darn. Oh, <laughs> that's what makes you, you, sir. You're you. I'm Kay. Kay! What's up? It's a spectrometer. Oh, I was hoping for a crystal ball. That's it. After lifers exist on a different plane than the living, they should key in on that dimension's frequency. How you gonna get that thing to work? Power's down. Alkaline. You're not even gonna spin any eye of new jazz? <laughs> Geist? No! Spectrometer searching all available frequencies for our visitor! It always does that. There's our ghost. Maybe it's the ghost of an alien! Or maybe it's just an alien. Says it's a rare life form from Nepira. He speaks their language. I don't care if it's only a dialect. Find out what it wants. It's lost. Well, if it wants our help getting home, it better return Bob and stop monkeying with our gravity and electricity. Pronto! <laughs> What's going on? Get me out of here! See, first we shove the onion in his mouth. Then we grease him up with hog fat. Then we ring the bell and presto! Jack o' lantern disappears. Uh huh. Help! Help! Here, take this! Not that. That's what I'm talking about. Please help! Step on back, Jack. <laughs> Don't let us back, real heat. Thought you knew that. Uh, oh. Ah! Yeah! Here, stick it in his claw. Do it, Jay. Slick. That may work on a jack-o'-lantern, but it'll just give a Barthok onion breath. This ain't exactly what it seems. They're back! Bring any <laughs> Save the reunion, fellas. Jay needs your help. Our help? Field generator. It'll simulate the conditions on the Barthok's planet, a place where the vertically challenged such as yourselves are faster, stronger, and able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. That's why he's been stealing children for slave labor. Small, strong. Oh, yeah, right, Kate. Right. Can I sell you a bridge? Kate just doesn't want to rump out his suit. Boys, you've got to trust me on this one. <laughs> Sir, could you please desist? Pretty please? Don't hurt me, I'm small! Oh. <gasps> I'm small? And I'm bad to the bone. Come on, guys. Java! Hello. Onion. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> we do it for the kids. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> we 
They were awesome. A lean, mean, fat machine. Look at Jackie Chan. A Barthok, an Aperion. No cockamamie ghosts, goblins, or ghoulies in sight. <laughs> ah, whatever. You could have thanked me for the use of my spectrometer. If you'll excuse me, it's midnight, and I don't want to turn into a pumpkin. Forget pumpkin! <laughs> I don't want to turn into a werewolf! <laughs> okay, don't believe me! Let's put a leash on that were pug. Lead the way. send a million dollars to one lucky person's home. I don't think he likes me. Enter for a chance to win. of this Halloween is to disguise yourself in order to frighten strangers and extort sugar-infused nuggets. You say that like it's a bad thing. The most important part about Halloween is picking just the right costume. It has to make a statement, and it must get people's attention. Yeah. 
What is it? I have no idea. Optimus, Elite One, get your fan belts in gear! Sentinel, you ever stop to consider there's a reason why organic planets are off limits to Autobots? <laughs> You're not getting cold landing pads now, are you, Optimus, old buddy? Are you just the least bit curious to see a real Decepticon ship? Think of the history! Forget history! Think of the Energon! Those bots hoarded this stuff! We find that ship and we are set for the rest of our lives. Which we could all end up spending in the cyber stockade if we're caught. All right, fine. We get it if you're too scared. Uh, somebody's gotta keep you two walking malfunctions from getting in over your heads. We never get in over our heads! What? You hear that? Sounds like it came from down that tunnel. <laughs> What's got you so jumpy, boss bot? Just a ghost from my past. Nice gear, big guy. But you're gonna need a bigger bed sheet. Welcome! I am Count Dracubat. I want to drink your motor oil. Hey guys! I finally found something big enough for my ghost costume. Ugh! <laughs> oh, kid, where'd you get that sheet? It was just draped over some house. Weird place for a bedsheet, huh? Oh, that's not a bedsheet. That's a fumigation tent. Really? What's a fumigation tent? So where's your costume, sorry? Uh-uh, it's a surprise. In fact, I've got a lot of surprises planned. Easy, big guy. It's just a little Halloween fun. Somehow, I think when the All Spark powered your key, it had something more in mind than Halloween fun. You really shouldn't use it unless it's absolutely necessary. Hello. How necessary was it to use your axe on a fake spider? I got a good feeling about this. Any cycle now, we're gonna be overflowing with rich, all spark infused, inner Johnny goodness. Did you really just say inner Johnny goodness? Shh, shh. I think I hear something. Over here. Where's it coming from? That way. <sighs> Look out! So beautiful after all. Behind you! Ah! Forget it, Alita. Your power won't work on an organic. I think we've just been officially outclassed, Sentinel. I'm beginning to see why organic planets are off limits. No amount of history or energon is worth this. Let's go. 
Come on, guys, we've come this far. Give me one good reason why we should leave. How about three? Go! I'll cover your retreat! Optimus! Optimus! Check out my costume. Ooh, look at me. I'm Optimus Prime. I'm scared of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I sound like. Is it? Last chance to join us, Boss Bot. Thanks, but uh, I'll pass. Just be careful out there, all right? Don't worry. I'll keep these two out of trouble. Transform and roll out! <laughs> Couldn't resist. I don't know. It looks kind of spooky. I know. Isn't it great? Just remember, it's all pretend. Now remember, as soon as the door opens, you say, trick or treat. Bulkhead. Bulkhead. Bulkhead! What? Big, black, fangs, legs, lots and lots of legs! I don't see anything. Trick or treat. Hey, you guys forgot to say... What are you pointing at? It was all... Then it went... There were legs! It was black! First time trick-or-treating. I'm telling you, I saw something! We're being followed! <laughs> what a scaredy bot! You're worse than Optimus! I am not! <clears throat> ah! Besides, I know the difference between a fake Halloween decoration and a real giant spider. Wait, say again, Bumblebee? What did you see? A giant spider. You know, eight legs, spins webs, crawls up walls, the whole deal. Hey, have you been listening in on our con links this whole time? Stay where you are. I'll be right there. Elita? Sentinel! Decepticon warship. Sentinel? Alita? Energon cubes. Huh. What do you know? Sentinel was right. I've never seen oval-shaped energon. Why do I get the feeling that's not energon? Thought I might find you in here. Fight our way out! Use your power! It's useless on organics, remember? Not on them, on me! Let's make this fast. My download won't last long.
Shadow, get out now! We need to go after her! No, no time! The ship's gonna blow! I'm not picking up her energy signature. She... She's offline. This is all your fault! I won't let it happen again. Trust me, Bumblebee. There are no giant spiders on this planet. Yeah, well, maybe it came from some other planet. Huge alien life forms. Coming to Earth? You gotta be kidding! <laughs> oh, right. Us. Yes. All I'm saying is, we should put our scanners on high alert. Keep a sharp lookout, and don't let anything slip past us. <coughs> Sorry! Sorry? Keep away from the girl. That's just what I was gonna say. I want to make sure the big guy sees you this time. You wouldn't hurt a helpless female bot. Now would you, boys? Who are you? What are you? Yeah, she's a girl. <laughs> My friends call me Black Arachnia. <laughs> You're safe now. Let's go. These are my friends. Oh, sorry for the misunderstanding then. It's so hard to tell the good robots from the bad ones on this planet. Come on. Why won't you work? My venom derives from organic sources, so the AllSpark won't have any effect on it. Nice costume, by the way. Wait! Back up. How do you know about the AllSpark? I guess you could say I'm a bit of an expert in that matter. I could show you a thing or two with that key. Why not let me try to revive them? Ah! Sorry! Get away! Now! Optimus. So, the rumors are true. Hey! That's Bumblebee's thing! Don't get your pigtails in a bunch, kid. I'm just borrowing it. Much as you'd love to give me a face full of foam. And yes, little miss, state the obvious. I borrowed the big guy's strength, too. Now, what should I borrow from you? Oh. Change of plans. You're coming with me. Sorry. You're in trouble now. My friend Optimus Prime is gonna take his axe and chop you into itsy bitsy spider burgers. Can't you ever stop talking?
You all right, sorry? Optimus, look out! <laughs> I know all your moves, Optimus. Pure textbook Autobot Academy. Do I know you? I know how easily you forget your friends. Although you managed to remember Sentinel that day. Alita One? It's Black Arachnia now. But I thought you were... If either of you had bothered to search for me, you would have seen what happened. I tried to use my downloading power on the spiders, but I ended up infecting myself with their organic venom. I became something else. Not Autobot. Not organic. I was nothing but a freak! Your organic half must have masked your energy signature. Had I known, I would have... What? Brought me back to Cybertron to be dismantled and examined on some lab table? So, you allied yourself with the Decepticons instead. At least I know where I stand with them. No way, kid. If anything can purge my organic half, it's this! <laughs> but you said the Allspark won't affect organics. Guess I must have lied. Imagine that. Alita, wait! I've already waited for a thousand stellar cycles! Challenged? Coming right up! And going right up! Hang on, sorry! It's gonna be a bumpy landing! survive without your organic half. You need to shut off the key. I... I can't... Leave me alone. I don't want you to see me like this anymore. Come with us, Alita. We'll find a cure together. Let me earn back your trust. Come closer. I need to tell you something. It'll be a long time before I trust an Autobot. Especially you, Optimus. I believe the expression is, trick or treat. Duh, that's what I'm supposed to say. You just say Happy Halloween and fork over the goods. And then I'm supposed to say thank you and you were right.
And maybe I should give this thing a rest. Think I could persuade you to use it one more time? So who was that bug bar lady? Someone I never should have left behind.